GoPro Hero 4, GoPro Hero 3 Plus. <clears throat> Right, hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to do a quick resolution and frame rate examples here. I've got the GoPro Hero 3 down in the corner and the GoPro Hero 4. So we're doing the slow motion test that we can get uh, for this. We've got some teddy bears and a probe. Um, so at the moment, I'm shooting at 30 frames a second at uh, 2.8K, which is what both cameras can do quite happily. I'm shooting this in, or I'm editing this in a 1080p uh video frame and uh, 25 frames a second so you have the ability to slow it down just a touch so if I were to do a quick juggle of these teddy bears that's what it looks like there and then at the end we'll throw the little teddies at you so what I'm going to do straight away is on the GoPro Hero 4 I'm going to go to the fastest frames a second we can do at 2.7k which is 48 frames a second Okay, so now I've got the GoPro Hero 4 at 48 frames a second, meaning that we can potentially slow it down to just above 50%, and that gives oh, that gives me the ability to slow the juggling down by quite a bit. And what that looks like whenever we throw Mr. Teddy at the camera looks like this. The GoPro Hero 4 also has a 2.7K super view shot. So what that does is it squeezes the top and the bottom into the frame. So the, the actual sensor is a little square, but the maximum speed is only 30 frames a second again. So although we get more field of view, we're not getting any faster speeds. We also get a 2.7K, which is four by three. So in other words, it's not the cool cinematic 16 by nine. This is a four by three. So the actual frame is a bit different. So if we compress this down so it's in a, a fit format for a 1080p uh, video timeline, um, it looks, it looks you've got square bits at the side. However, let's go to more of the slow motion stuff. Now this is where the GoPro Hero 4 really kicks up a notch. Um, at 1080p, the GoPro Hero 4 is able to shoot at 120 frames a second. So meaning we can slow this down a load. So if I were to do some juggling here, And if you slow, just throw a little teddy at you. Or another one. Cool, go for it. Oh, smooth landing. So to give you an example, the GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black Edition was able to do that at 60 frames a second. So to show you the difference in the, the total speed, this is uh, what, we get. what we get. Okay, and teddy bear. Teddy bear, Unfortunately, at 720p, it's still capped at 120 frames a second. So you're not getting any greater slow motion going on here. But still, 120 frames a second at HD resolution is still pretty good. However, what the GoPro Hero 4 does is at 
uh, VGA quality, which is actually a smaller uh, frame rate than 720p, but still pretty good for normal TV. It gets you, it allows you to go down to 240 frames a second, potentially making you slow it down by 10 times, or bring it down to 10% of the actual uh, original speed. However, it's a smaller frame, so if I now just expand this up to a 1080 uh, field, then this is uh, what the quality that you get, but also the slow motion that you get. <laughs> I'll do that again. And for slow motion, watch this little guy. And again. Nice, thank you. However, lastly, this is 4K video footage. So at the moment, I've got it squeezed down to a 1080 video format. However, if I expand this up, so it's 100% size, so if I go up to 100% size, so that's it one-to-one -one scale of a 4K video in this. You'll notice that I can actually move the video from left to right quite happily, and it's still within a 1080p video. It also means I can now shoot at 30 frames a second. On the GoPro Hero 4, uh, on the GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black Edition, the maximum was 15 frames a second when NTSC setting. So now what I've got is the ability to actually do some little bit of, not necessarily slow motion, but just smooth it down by 20% into a 1080, 25 frames a second uh, video footage. <laughs> but here, if we watch the steady, and also, let's just have a look, closer look, at the background. So the GoPro Hero 3 is at 1080p just now. And if we look at the GoPro Hero 4 at 4K resolution, how we can zoom into that, how much better is the quality? That's for you to decide. So the question is, yes, you've got faster frames a second at 1080p at, 40, at 4K and at se no, 720p is still the same um, but uh, it's just a lot of little things making it a little bit better certainly at 2.7k having 48 frames a second potential is very useful if you just want to do a little bit of straightening a little bit of cropping maybe a little bit of um, vibration reduction uh, in post afterwards so there you go and I'll see you guys later are you rolling? Thank you.